Now, again, the only thing I did with Sheena Johnson is write her letters talking about our encounter and telling her about my dream that I think it had to do with the two witnesses still, right? Also, um, sent her Bible studies that I hand wrote from Pastor Davis, right? But there were normal Bible studies you would see in any congregation today. See, we're the lukewarm church. You forget that. Because of Constantine, we're not teaching the whole truth of Jesus. And we see, for instance, Galatians 3.28, Eight as metaphoric and not literal. When Paul wrote it literal and not metaphoric because the mediator is not a mediator of one, but God is one, right? Well, if Jesus is both male and female, he's the mediator between the spots. That's what it does. <laughs> it mediates between Jew and Gentile men. <laughs> and male and female because there's an enmity between us, Sheena Johnson. Don't you get that? <laughs> We weren't on the same page to, page to begin with. Because unlike you, you didn't read Exodus 22, 16 and 70, which says if I entice you and you're not betrothed, I can ask your hand in marriage afterwards. <laughs> the Bible never said you can't have premarital sex. False Christians did under Constantine. <laughs> Changing the law of God and making it of none effect. Right. That's what men often do. And like Paul, who couldn't say he had a commandment from the Lord, by the way, but was speaking his own opinion. An opinion cannot contradict the Old Testament and the Torah. <laughs> Any Jew, including Paul himself, was never told by Jesus not the follow the law either, either. <laughs> so you're not listening to God, you're listening to men. <laughs> In the church who teach for doctrine and commandment of men, just like with honoring your father and mother. They were putting them in basically a nursing home back then, paying for their care and not honoring them by putting them in their own house and helping them out in their old age, right? Which is what you're supposed to do. That's what that means, right? Back then, you were supposed to do all that, right? <laughs> but they quit doing it. <laughs> right. And we're giving them gifts to sustain them. <laughs> Money, right? And kind of putting them in a type of nursing home, right? Back then, mm -hmm. Well, Jesus was saying something about that. Because mm -hmm. they teach for doctrine the commandment of men. It's like when the disciples were plucking corn, right? He pointed out how David right, also ate the shoe bread, which is also unlawful for him to eat. Though the punishment wasn't stoning <laughs> for working on the Sabbath day, because the disciples could have been stoned for that, <laughs> Oh, oh, but he did use the law to point out if you're eating something because you're hungry <laughs> and it's the Sabbath day and you're picking corn, right? If you eat it the same day, ain't that just eating a meal, right? If you could fix yourself food on the Sabbath day, you're still doing a work, idiot. Hello, or you got to fast for the whole day, right? <laughs> Never thought about that, but God allowed you to gather enough banner for both days to eat, but even eating is work. Hypocrites. All of you. Or did you forget that? <laughs> Conveniently. To pick up a piece of food and put it in your mouth is still a work. You contradict the commandments of God. Said it, Moses! He's a man too! Or did you forget? A man spoke for God. All men <laughs> All men who are religious do. Right. But it's men speaking for God. If God's the spirit, it can't even speak for itself because the spirit does not have a mouth. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> Nor is it male or female. <laughs> or a hermaphrodite. It has no form or comeliness. Or design. <laughs> but what it did do is make us its vessels. 
It's temple. It's tabernacle. It's dwelling place. It's Shekinah glory. My name is Shekinah Yahoo in the Hebrew. Did you know that? <laughs> Means dwelling of Yahoo. I don't know. That's my full name. I don't know. So it's spelled S H A Y N in the Hebrew. <laughs> y H W. <laughs> <laughs> and it's from Shekinya or Shekinya whoever you want to say it right because it has an E that makes an A sound like with a lot of Japanese words right? the E can make an A sound right and so you're not reading the Bible anymore Christians you're just teaching off the top of your head right but the Bible never said you couldn't have premarital sex. Men did that in the church, being self-righteously even better than Moses. <laughs> but if you're going to follow the law, you got to follow the whole law, or you're breaking the whole law, too. That's why we're saying by grace through faith, not of work through any man should boast. Right? Meaning we're going to make mistakes, like me and Sheena did. <laughs> But you let me do what I did to you. You did not say no during the coitus, right? Or sex part of it, right? In fact, I was so smooth and enticing you, you didn't even know we had sex until later on. Is that the point you're saying? Right. Well, that was what I'm supposed to do if I'm going to lay with you before we get married. I'm to entice you into it. I didn't beguile you into it. I'm a male. You're a female. I, unless you thought I was a woman. <laughs> Which I never said I was a woman to you. <laughs> Are you that blind? You did wear glasses, by the way. I remember that part. <laughs> but I'm sure you knew I was a male, right? <laughs> I'm sure you know the tongue only sticks out so far, but the penis is longer in you, right? If it goes in you, right? I'm not Gene Simmons, by the way. <laughs> if I use my tongue on you, which I was doing both, right? Yeah, you understand. <laughs> I usually do both. Go down on you and put my penis in you, right? You didn't say I couldn't. You just said you were a Christian. So what does that mean to me, right? You're not reading your Bible. <laughs> And let me have sex with you and entice you into it. And when I did, you got upset about it. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> They're teaching a false doctrine and you don't even know it. <laughs> You're ignorant of it. You don't want to hear the truth. <laughs> so what can a man do but say, I made a mistake there. She didn't say no <laughs> during the coitus. I did offer her oral sex and sex. <laughs> she just thought it was oral sex only right then. Right. <laughs> She wanted at least the oral sex, so I couldn't have pulled her panties down, you understand. She just didn't make it clear she didn't want sex until after I had the sex with her and started talking about getting her pregnant and marrying her in the in my letters, I guess, right? That's the only thing I know I was talking about in the letters to be more clear about what we did <laughs> that she could have gotten upset with if she didn't think we had sex and all that was oral. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> I do both, oral and sex, right? Now, maybe she didn't know that because she didn't ask me, nor did I ask her. She was waiting for marriage. I didn't think about it because <laughs> we were making out. We were doing things a woman who does that don't do, right? See, if you're waiting for marriage, you don't even kiss the man. Right. You say no huggy, no kissy till I get a wedding ring, right? <laughs> Put a ring on it first, like Beyonce said, right? Don't even let me kiss you. If you're waiting for marriage, because I don't know. I don't know that. <laughs> and I know Christians who made out with me who claim to be going out to church. <laughs> in fact, I felt one of my friends and sisters up <laughs> when we were alone in the house, and I thought it was a dream, so... <laughs> and she let me into it. <laughs> but she was a Christian, too, I know. But we didn't have sex, I don't recall, <laughs> If we did, it could have been before that part. <laughs> but I didn't say nothing about it if we did. Right? Maybe I was half asleep when she started herself. Right? Maybe she was filling me up, and I don't remember that part. <laughs> so I did the same to her. I don't remember all the details. Right? It kind of seemed more dreamlike anyway. <laughs> I know. Because we were in the house alone, and that don't normally happen either. 
<laughs> Usually her parents are there <laughs> when we were always together. <laughs> so I thought it a dream. But she was a Christian girl. <laughs> she was a Christian girl too. I, I felt Christian girls up. I had sex with a pastor's daughter almost in the damn river, right? Making out with her. <laughs> And don't tell me you never made out with a boy before you had sex with him or before you met him or, or before you walked down the aisle, right? People do that too. That If you couldn't have me for premarital sex, here's the point, Christians, and you kiss somebody intimately before you get married, that's still lust. <laughs> if you judge after the flesh. <laughs> but if you forgive, okay, the kiss, all right, and you get married either way. <laughs> You're trying to marry someone then. Right. You're not lying about it either. Or lying and repenting. Right. See, I wanted to marry you, Sheena, but you disallowed it. <laughs> I didn't want just premarital sex with you. I've never do that with a woman. I know marriage and to the man is always different to the woman. Right. But I still know sex is the point of marriage. Right. If you have it before marriage, that don't mean you still don't get married in my book. <laughs> As I just read to you, Moses said, right? Hymns out. Right? So if he is the word of God, and you're following his word, right? as if it's the word from God, okay, that's what you're doing too. That's still idolatry, by the way, Jesus. Right? Your worship of the man in place of God. Right? If you call him God. <laughs> And that it's the word of God. <laughs> now it's the word of someone instead of God, right? Even he said that in the Torah, right? Don't forget that, Jesus, or you're committing idolatry as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> through Moses, through Moses. Now we Christians can't worship Jesus above God because even he said the Father is greater than I am. If someone's greater than you, you can be equal or one with that person, but you cannot be greater than that person. You understand the difference there, dude? You're right. If I'm one with you, I'm equal with you. Right. But if I try to be greater than you, I'm trying to suppress you. Right. And you're a spirit. Nobody can see you and live. Right. Because you're in us. <laughs> you made our body to, out of certain matter in the earth to even make us alive. Right. We're not randomly made of this desk or these cans or as we do these things we make. We're made specifically by certain parts of the earth for our bodies to be alive. Right. And without these elements in our bodies, we wouldn't be alive either, either, right? That's why vitamins and medication might can help you a little bit too, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> it's not just pharmacia. <laughs> That's witchcraft. <laughs> it's the idea that they're not actually trying to help us, right? Well, they might be. And, uh, <laughs> and we all judge after the flesh. Even John is a man when he wrote the book of Revelation and he's talking about the seven seals being something the men in the Bible don't want to look up, right? Like the name of God, for instance. The Jews don't even want to say it anymore. But I think it's feminine, and that's why. <laughs> right. Yahoo is also Yahuwah, and Yahuwah fit the divine name. <laughs> yes, it does. It's Y-H-W-H or Y-H-V-H, which you can then do Yahvah. <laughs> Simply, Y-H-V-H. <laughs> Which simply means and or breathe or breath. <laughs> Va always means and, and. Now, if you do who he, which is it backwards, it says ya, va, who he. You understand what I mean, Jews? <laughs> but you don't want to hear the truth. I'm the only person who's being worthy to tell you. Right. <laughs> In the 20th century or 21st century, we're just entering into it, right? <laughs> we were in the 20th and the 19th century when I was born, right? If you know what I mean, in the 1900s to 2000s when I was born, right? That's the 20th century. This is the 21st century, which by birth date makes me live at least to 
70, 20, 70, right? Or actually 20, 90, or well, actually, um, yeah, 20, 90, right? Because I'm supposed to live 120 years as well as I said anyway, right? <laughs> so is my mom, so here we all, right? <laughs> and you know, I wouldn't hurt Sue if Sue had the choice. She never did, and if Sue was in one room, I was in the other most of the time, unless she came and knocked on the door and I let her in. <laughs> and I black, was blacked out after that. <laughs> right. Some of the things I'm saying is because I really lost time, like in the nail salon, right? I went in there at a specific time and came out later than I'm supposed to normally come out, right? And I proved that the second time I went in the store, the man did it himself, right? My own nails, I know. A male did it, which is weird in a female salon, right? Mainly women do the job. Right, Ian? I even know your name. I know you know my name. I know you're the, the bathroom. You can thoughts, right? And I know I don't know you. <laughs> or Mariko, really. <laughs> your wife. And if you have a daughter, is she yours and Marquez or you and another woman's? Well, you committed adultery too, motherfucker, then you're an adulterer. <laughs> you can't condemn me for trying to find a wife, even if it's your 15-year-old daughter illegally working in the store. And I didn't know that at the time. Because I asked her her age and she lied and said she was 37. <laughs> that part I remember of the nail job. <laughs> if we went into the bathroom, that part I'll let you black out. <laughs> Because I didn't that, do that intentionally if she was really 15. <laughs> and God does talk of blotting out your sins, right? If you saw that as a sin, I didn't know she was 15 until after you told us. Or me. <laughs> and I still don't remember that part of the conversation, if we had it or not, right? But I do know I was set up for mine and her rights if we just simply went into the bathroom, <laughs> too, right? We have a choice, <laughs> asshole. Excuse me, my friend, share YouTube.